Hello, everyone. Um, hope you're having a good Saturday. Um, just wanted to give over a few news stories recently and just a theme that I'm seeing a lot more of lately. So I thought I'd compile a bunch of information, put a big picture together here. Um, what I want to talk about is automation, artificial intelligence, and robots taking people's jobs. I really see a tidal wave trend here because I'm always on top of the news really started to pick up in the last little while. Slowly it was trickling in, but now it's like full speed ahead here on many, many fronts. So I'm just gonna cover a bunch of stuff here for you guys. All right, started out with this article I just read yesterday. The new report came out in the LA Times. Ro robots could take over 38% of US jobs within about 15 years. So there's something like what, like 150 million, there's 130 million people working. So 38%, that's a lot of jobs. That's like tens of millions of jobs by the year, like 2030. Um, and a lot of times people just think, oh, it's just like uh, fast food restaurants and kiosks and stuff. But no, I'm going to show you in this video here. It's a lot more than that. Um, so I'll just start out with this article here. More than a third of U.S. jobs could be at high risk of automation by the early 2030s, a percentage that's greater than Britain, Germany, and Japan, according to a report released Friday. The analysis by accounting and consulting firm PwC emphasized that its, its estimates are based on the anticipated capabilities of robotics and artificial intelligence, and that the pace and direction of technological progress are uncertain. It said that in the U.S., 38% of U.S. jobs could be at risk of automation, compared with 30% in Britain, 35% in Germany, and 21% in Japan. The main reason is not that the U.S. has more jobs in sectors that are universally right for automation, the report says, rather, it's that more U.S. jobs in certain sectors are potentially vulnerable than, say, British jobs in the same sectors. For example, the report says the financial and insurance sector has much higher possibility of automation in the U.S. than in Britain. That's because it says American finance workers are less educated than British ones. While London finance employees work in international markets, their U.S. counterparts focus more on the domestic retail market, and workers do not need to have the same educational levels, the report said. Jobs that require less education are at higher potential risk of automation, according to the report. Other industries that could be at high risk include hospitality, food service, transportation, and storage. Analysts have said truck driving probably will be the first form of driving in the U.S. to be fully automated, as long-range big rigs travel primarily on highways, the easiest roads to navigate without human intervention. But robots won't necessarily replace so many human workers. The report highlights several economic, legal, and regulatory hurdles that could prevent automation, even in jobs where it would be technologically feasible. For one, the cost of robots, including maintenance and repairs, could still be too expensive compared with human workers. In the case of self-driving vehicles, questions remain about who is liable in an accident. In other words, moving robots outside of a controlled environment is still a big step, said John Hawksworth, chief economist at PwC in Britain. Treasury Secretary Stephen Munchen said Friday that he wasn't worried about artificial intelligence taking over American jobs. I think we're so far away from that, it's not even on my radar screen, he told Axios Media. I think it's 50 or 100 more years. I, I, I doubt that. Munchen also said automation would enable human workers to do more productive jobs at higher wages. It's taken jobs that are low paying, he said. We need to make sure we are investing in education and training for the American worker. Automation could end up creating some jobs, the report said. Greater robotic productivity could boost the incomes of those behind the new technology. Chalkworth said we could flow into the larger economy. Sectors that are harder to automate, such as healthcare, could also see a rise in jobs. Okay, so that's from LA Times. And I'll put all these links in the description so you can check them out. This is just recently from CNN Tech. U.S. workers face higher risk of being replaced by robots. Here's why. 30% of U.K. jobs at risk of automation by 2030. Artificial intelligence may replace humans in lower middle skill jobs. Rise of the machines. Millions of Americans will be wiped out in the next, million American jobs will be wiped out in the next five years. Minimum wage massacre. This is a, Wendy's unleashes a thousand robots to counter higher labor costs. Wendy's plans to replace workers with self-serve kiosks. And burger flipping robot replaces humans on the first day at work. This is a burger flipping robot has just completed its first day in the job at a restaurant in California, replacing humans at the grill. Flippy has mastered the art of cooking the perfect burger and has just started work at Cali Burger, fast food chain. The robotic kitchen assistant, which makes Maker Say can be installed in just five minutes of the brainchild of Miso Robotics. Much like self-driving vehicles, our system continuously learns from its experiences to prove over time, Chief Executive Officer said. Though we are starting with a relatively simple task of cooking burgers, our proprietary artificial intelligence software allows our kitchen assistants to be adaptable and therefore can be trained to help with almost any dull, dirty, or dangerous task 
in the commercial kitchen, kitchen, whether it's frying chicken, cutting vegetables, or final plating. Cameras and sensors help Flippy to determine when the burger is fully cooked before the robot places them on a bun. A human worker then takes over and adds condiments. More Flippy robots will be introduced to Cali Burgers next year with the aim of installing them in 50 of the restaurants worldwide by the end of 2019. Cali Burgers says the benefits include making food faster, safer, with fewer errors. And now the new KFC restaurant is entirely run by robots. First McDonald's, then Wendy's, soon Carl's Jr., now KFC. <coughs> the minimum wage-driven automation of the lower end of the workforce is accelerating. KFC to launch 5,000 kiosks with facial recognition to predict customers' orders in China. Fast food workers are becoming obsolete. Thanks to the fight for 15 wage, McDonald's unveils job replacing self-serve kiosks nationwide. So yeah, it started out, you know, in manufacturing and factories and assembly lines and stuff. And then, uh, you know, now it's gone to like, you know, the lower end jobs, like lower paid stuff and uh, fast food. But now, as you'll see here, it's moving to, to grocery stores. Amazon introduces the next major job killer to face Americans. If you haven't heard about this yet, they're just doing a test pilot program right now. There's no cashiers in it. You know, literally a huge grocery store has like a couple of employees, um, but everybody comes in and it's through automated, you know, like RFID or through your Amazon app. You know, it's probably restocked at night by like robots and stuff. There's no cashiers, there's no checkout. You just get all your stuff and it's all RFID and it tracks it. When you walk out, it automatically adds it to your bill. So this is, this is, and you know, if, if, if Amazon taking over the online uh, commerce is anything like this, then I think uh, some grocery retailers are going to be in for a surprise here. Um, Amazon Go means more than just job losses. It will restructure the economy. The ramifications for jobs are obvious, but Amazon Go also changes the relationship between business and employee, governments and citizens. So this is another whole sector of the market, like the, you know, groceries and stuff like that. And then with like delivery too, so you won't even have to leave your house too. You probably order online. Some some automated bot or delivery drone will like deliver to your house. That's where we're heading. And then this too, this is all the cab drivers, truck drivers, delivery drivers, autonomous vehicles could cost America five million jobs. This is from the LA Times. Why President Trump does not tweet about automation? Fully automated trucks could put half of America's truckers out of a job within a decade. And this just happened late last year. Uber self-driving truck packed with Budweiser makes first delivery in Colorado. The ride-hailing giant teamed up with InBev to transport beer in an autonomous vehicle, which they say is the world's first such commercial delivery. This happened last October. Watch Uber's robot truck deliver 45,000 cans of Budweiser. So they can do it for Budweiser. They can do it for anything. So this is potentially putting all truckers over the next 5, 10, 15 years out of a job. There'll be these, like, driverless vehicles driving around doing deliveries, just like in the sci-fi movies, you know, and then they're already doing it. They are a robot chef that can cook 2,000 meals set to go on sale in 2017. So this is even for your home. And if you ever, I've never seen this. You should watch these. Boston Dynamic reveals nightmare-inducing new robot handle. you got to watch some of these robots if you haven't seen them. I'll leave the link in the description. But they got like a cheetah that can run like. Right? Where they're armed and stuff and they can tase you or zap you and, you know, they go around the perimeter of a place. Who knows? I don't know. It just seems too creepy to me. Like sci-fi movies are coming true. And I thought this was interesting. One in four think robots would do a better job than human politicians. Survey of UK consumers finds. I probably have to agree with that. <laughs> they probably get more done. Um, so there you have it, everybody. So yeah, the people, this is like, it's already starting with Uber, right? So you got to think of all the taxi drivers. The taxi drivers now because Uber, and then they were saying because Uber now, right now they have to pay 70% to their drivers. So it's in their best interest to get these like driverless vehicles for Uber because then they can keep all the money. They don't have to share it with any drivers. So we're definitely going that direction. So we're talking millions and millions and millions and millions of jobs, manufacturing, delivery, taxis, driving, fast food, restaurants, grocery stores. So we're definitely, uh, if you're in that, any one of those industries, I'd highly advise you to probably start looking for alternative ways to earn money because your job security is not guaranteed. You know, try to look to do like an online business or some other type of business that can't be replaced by robots because, you know, everybody thinks, oh, it'll happen to someone else. It'll never happen to me. And I mean, you know, until that happens, you're going to find out the hard way. And uh, it's probably better to get started on something now, like another little side business where you can earn an income from home. 
or online or some type of skill or service that robots can't do. That would be my advice for you if you're in any one of these potential risky uh, industries that you could lose your job. Because, you know, it's just a matter of time. It might be a year, it might be five years, it might be 10 years. But unless you're like right on the edge of retirement, you should probably be planning to uh, have a backup plan. All right, everyone, just thought I'd share this with you. Hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.